Hey guys, Charles Jager for Tuts Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create your own custom lookup tables, often referred to as LUTs, in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Now if you're not familiar with lookup tables, what they are is basically a universal color preset. They control how colors are remapped from one color space to another, and they also ensure accurate tone reproduction. Some common uses for them are film emulation, which converts digital footage to look like it was printed on different film stocks. Another common use is on log footage to convert it to a more common format such as Rec. 709 that's a lot easier to edit with. Now one thing you will need for this tutorial, you need to download from Red Giant. It's a free plugin called Lookup Table Buddy. You can download it directly from their webpage. You'll need to create a Red Giant account and then you'll be able to download it and install it on After Effects and Premiere Pro. Once you've got that installed, let's go ahead and jump over to After Effects and get started. Alright, now that we're in After Effects, I'm going to go ahead and grab my footage and add it to a new composition. Now the first thing we need to do is create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to right click and go to New Adjustment Layer. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Draw. And what that refers to is the draw pattern we're going to create with our lookup table effect. So now let's select our adjustment layer and go to Effect red giant lookup table buddy and apply it. And again, we actually don't want to apply a lookup table in this case right now, but we want to go to action and select draw pattern. And what this is gonna do is if I zoom in here, this is gonna draw this different color palette here of all these different color shades. And what it's gonna do is actually read the color grade and the changes we do to the RGB to this footage. That way we can export this to a new lookup table. Now what we need to do next is go to pattern here. We need to select it from 3D32 to 3D64. That's going to give us more color accuracy and be better in the long run. And one thing you're going to want to make sure is you want to make sure you're viewing your footage in the full resolution. You can see here if I zoom out and I select half resolution, it's going to scale up this color chart and really we don't need that. So let's go ahead and leave it on full. All right, now we need to right click and create a new adjustment layer. And we're going to call this grade. And on this layer here is actually where we want to apply all of our color grade effects to create our lookup table. We don't want to apply any color effects directly to the draw pattern or to the footage. We only want to do them on the grade, which is going to be above the draw pattern layer. Now it's important to note that lookup tables won't be able to read any effects like blurs or sharpening or mask or noise or grain. Because any effects like that will actually be applied on top of this draw pattern and they won't read properly. Just to demo it here, I'll apply a blur to this. So if I apply a fast blur, you can see how it actually blurs out the color pattern. And when it goes in here to read this, you're not going to get an accurate read and the lookup table it will export will be very messed up because it's looking for something that's supposed to be tack sharp like this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the fast blur. Now on your footage, you can apply any color grade you want. Just for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm just going to do a simple day to night color grade conversion. And what this would be useful for is I'm then going to export this lookup table. And if I wanted to, I could send this day to night conversion lookup table to a client or to an editor for them to use on other footage. Or if I just want to bring that lookup table into Premiere Pro and apply it to a lot of different footage instead of doing it all here in After Effects. All right, with the grade adjustment layer selected, I'm going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation. I'm just going to pull back the saturation here on this footage. And now I want to go to Effect, color correction curves. And I'm just gonna make some quick adjustments here to make this look a little bit more like nighttime. So I'm gonna pull down the highlights, add some contrast. Let's go to the red channel, pull this back a little bit, add some cyan, maybe add some blue. And I'm gonna go to the green channel here and I'm gonna pull up the highlights to make the fog kind of glow. Adds a nice touch to that. All right, so that's a cool look. That'll be our day to night conversion right there. So the next thing we need to do is create a new adjustment layer and call that the read. So I'm going to right click, new adjustment layer. And I'm going to rename that read. And with that adjustment layer selected, we need to reapply the lookup table buddy. So go to effect, red giant lookup table buddy. And now what we need to do under action is we need to select read pattern. Now this is a crucial step here. We need to make sure we select the same pattern size, which is 3D64. So what this is doing is it's reading this color chart here and it's looking at the changes in the color information. And now when we export our lookup table, it's gonna retain that color information. So what we need to do to export this now is on the lookup table buddy effect on the read pattern here, we need to go to options and you're gonna see this menu pop up and you're gonna see the option for export LUT. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. 
And now we get the option to name our lookup table, so I'll just call this day tonight. And you can select the file type. The most common is .cube, but you have quite a variety of different file types here. I'm going to leave it at .cube and click Save. And that's all we need to do. Now we just need to click Done. Now occasionally I get errors where it actually doesn't export the color information properly. So in order to double check this, I'll show you a quick way to do that. I'm going to go ahead with my color grade on here. I'm going to do a screenshot here. And now what I want to do is I want to turn off the read, grade, and the draw. And just have my footage right there. And now if I select the toggle snapshot there, I can see what this looks like when the lookup table should be applied. Now with my footage selected, I'm going to go to Effect. And now all the way down at the bottom here under Utility, I'm going to select Apply Color Lookup Table. And when you select that, After Effects will automatically open up the search window and you can go ahead and locate where you saved your lookup table. I have found mine and I'm going to click Open. And after you do that, you should see your footage change with the lookup table applied. And if you want to double check it, again, just toggle the snapshot here and we can see there's no difference in the shot. So that means our lookup table was exported properly. And that's how easy it is to create your own custom lookup tables using After Effects. Now let's jump over to Premiere Pro and I'll quickly show you how you can do this same technique in Premiere Pro. All right now we're in Premiere Pro. I'm using version 2015.3 and I've already got my footage in my timeline here. And the first thing we need to do is create an adjustment layer just like we did in After Effects. So I'm going to go to my project panel. I'm going to right click new item adjustment layer and click OK. And I've got my adjustment layer right here. I'm just going to Rename that Draw. This will work the same way it did in After Effects. Now I'm going to drag that adjustment layer above our footage. And with that selected, I'm going to go to Effects here. I'm going to apply Lookup Table Buddy. Under Red Giant Lookup Table Buddy, I'll just drag that over and apply it. Now I'm going to select my adjustment layer, go to Effect Controls, and I will select Draw Pattern and 3D 64. Again, you're going to want to make sure you're viewing it on a full resolution. All right, so now let's go back to our project panel, right click, new item, adjustment layer. And this one I'm going to rename grade. And I'm just going to select it and put it above the draw pattern. Now on the grade layer, I'm going to use the effect Lumetri, which is the new color grading effect in Premiere Pro. You'll find it under Video Effects, Color Correction, Lumetri Color. So I'm just going to select that and apply it. And under the Effects Controls for Lumetri Color, there's a whole host of different options you can go in here and tweak. So just for simplicity, I'm just going to do a quick kind of curves adjustment. And maybe a little bit of hue and saturation adjustment here. So. This will be a little bit more of a warmer look here. All right, now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and create another adjustment layer for our read pattern. So I'll go back to the project panel, right click, new adjustment layer. I'll name it read. And let's go ahead and apply that above our grade. And with the read selected, let's go ahead and apply lookup table buddy again. And under the effects controls for the read adjustment layer, let's go ahead and select read pattern and select 3D64. And now in order to export this LUT, we need to do one other thing first though. We need to select this from fit to be 100%. I've encountered some errors when I left it at fit, so I like to go ahead and set it to 100%. Now to export our lookup table, just come over here under the effects controls to setup. And you're gonna see the same menu we saw in After Effects and you're gonna go ahead and select export lookup table. And this will give you the option to name it. So I'm just going to call this Warm Forest and click Save. And then you can go ahead and click Done. All right, let's go ahead and look at a quick way to double check that this worked correctly. I'm going to select this back to Fit. And I'm going to turn off the visibility for the Read, the Grade, and the Draw. And I'm going to apply the Lumetri Color Effect directly to my footage. So I'm going to go to Video Effects, Color Correction, Lumetri Color. And under the basic correction here, you're going to see the option for input lookup table. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to select browse. And then I'm just going to locate the lookup table that I just exported, which was warm forest and click open. And now we can see that that lookup table looks correct and exported correctly. 
All right, guys, hopefully you found these tips useful. I'm Charles Jager for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.